Hi, and welcome to the first episode of Um Actually. Today on Um Actually, we're going to be talking about percentile dice. Let me tell you, it's a doozy. What are percentile dice, you may ask? Ah! Okay, no, but really, here's a picture. For those unfamiliar with percentile dice, they are 10-sided dice, often referred to as D10s. But the thing that makes these particular kinds of dice special is that one of them in the set will have a zero trailing after the numbers like this. And the reason that it does is because that number is supposed to tell you how you're supposed to read them. Herein lies the tricky part. A lot of people fight about exactly how you're supposed to read them. There are two main ways to read the dice. The first one is called the legacy version of reading the dice. And what you do is you roll the dice. One was a seven and a zero. So that means I have a seven in the tens column. And the other one was a zero. So that means I have a zero in the ones column. So that roll would be 70. It would be 70%. And that's how you read it in the legacy version. Now, this was actually the perfect roll to make because it actually showcases what the problem is between the two versions. So in the legacy version, again, you have a seven and a zero. That's a 70. However, there's also the adding version. And the adding version has you roll those two dice together. So if I took the same roll, it was a seven zero on one die and a zero on the other, but I did the adding version, this would not be a 70, but an 80, because on a normal D10, the zero symbolizes a 10, not an actual zero. I'm going to reference my digital player's handbook because my dog ate my physical one. On page six of the fifth edition player's handbook, it states, Percentile dice, or D100, work a little differently. You generate a number between 1 and 100 by rolling two different 10-sided dice numbered from 0 to 9. One die, designated before you roll, gives the 10s digit, and the other one gives the 1s digit. So if you roll a 7 and a 1, for example, the number rolled is 71. The two zeros represent 100. Some 10-sided dice are numbered in 10s, 0, 0, 10, 20, and so on, making it easier to distinguish the tens digit from the ones digit. In this case, a roll of a 70 and a 1 is a 71, and a double 0 and a 0 is a 100. So that's what the player's handbook says. However, if you go to the people who actually invented the percentile die, because in the original legacy version, you had just had two normal d10s. There wasn't the extra tens column on a die. And when the people who made these dice originally made them, they made them with the intention of adding them together. Um, actually, this isn't right. Hi there, Future Faye here to tell you that after extensive research and falling down an extremely fascinating, albeit an extremely nerdy rabbit hole, I discovered that it is not explicitly stated anywhere what the original creators of the dice wanted. In fact, there is a huge debate about who actually invented D10s in the first place. A lot of people credit Louis Saki, founder of Game Science Dice, who applied for the patent in 1981. However, patented on January 9th, 1906, was Friedenthal Game Apparatus, which, if you look closely, looks an awful lot like a D10. Anyway. So these two versions cause a lot of controversy. I personally have gotten into more than one fight with my friend who happens to be my DM about how to read these dice. Anyway, when it really comes down to it, it's your table, do what you want at it. Take these lessons and maybe it has taught you something. Maybe it's made you mad. I don't know. Tell me in the comments. We'll talk about it. Who cares? Anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you all soon. This has been your episode of Um Actually. Bye. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and tell me what you thought in the comments below.